Today I'm going to one of Netherlands' most iconic football stadiums. Sparta Rotterdam is known for its castle look, making it so unique. So it's only right I experience it once and for all. But remember, we are on the road to 100,000 subscribers. If you're not subscribed, please help me out by doing so and leave a like on this video. I have been to Feyenoord, I've been to AZ Alkmaar, I've been to Vitesse, and today is the final day of the Dutch tour. Sparta Rotterdam, let's do this. Another day appreciating this country, like look at it, the architecture, buildings and everything. I'll say it in every single video because I love it. I love this country so much. It feels and looks so clean. All the transports are efficient. People are nice. There's nothing not to love. And the bikes as well. Do you know what, this trip, I haven't even been on a bike yet. Oh, hello, I think we see that. I don't know what it is, but when you look at the floodlights from a distance, and this goes for anywhere, even in England as well, doesn't it just like excite you like? Get you a little bit pumped up on the match day. Or is it just, just me? But it definitely looks like we're in the right place. There it is, it's right in front of me. The castle is just like, haunting me down. It's just there. It's there. Sparta, Rotterdam. The castle we've all came to see is right in front of me. Oh my days. Yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, Sparta Rotterdam, the castle built stadium from the front. It looks fantastic, the flag waving, the Sparta writing. I cannot believe I'm here and I cannot wait for the match day tonight. 8 p.m. kickoff, it's still about six hours till the kickoff. You see the photos online, but it doesn't give it justice until you're here in person. Sparta was actually one of the most successful teams in the 20th century, and the first game inside this stadium was actually against Rangers. A little fun fact for you. Hold the front door for a minute. When do you ever see a floodlight actually outside the stadium? And it's not even like close. It's a fair distance, o okay? And this is the closest I'll get to see in the stadium first stand right now. It's a very small stadium, but it looks so, so unique. 11,000 capacity, I'm not complaining, it looks nice. Here's another little fun fact. This shirt is actually inspired by Sunderland's home shirt. I got a message from someone on Instagram and they told me that information, so thank them, not me. I guess this is the away shirt. My word, it looks nice. Massive, massive, massive fan of this one. I still find it really strange how the floodlights are actually outside the stadium. That's what brings the character out of it, I guess. The castle, the floodlights, it's just different. And now look where we are. Oh my days, it just gets better and better, doesn't it? The way it's all laid out with the text, the badge in the middle, the layout, the design of the stadium, everything. You've got to be a fan of this one. I haven't even been inside, but this has made my trip already. I've received a message from the Ultras of Sparta, Rotterdam. And they've just invited me to go to the stadium and basically have a behind the scenes look of like the tunnel, absolutely everything like in the stadium before any fans can get inside. So that's fantastic. I'm heading back to the stadium now, all checked in. On my line bike, I'm buzzing. I'm absolutely buzzing. It's very rare that an ultra group of a football club, especially European, actually helps you out in this sense. So I really appreciate the Sparta Rotterdam Ultras actually reaching out to me and saying that I can do this. It's insane. It's only a five minute bike journey, so here we go. We're back at the stadium. Oh, I would never get old going here, I'll tell you that now. Well, I didn't think I'd be here. Pitch side at Sparta Rotterdam. This is just insane. Thank you to the Ultras for allowing me in, giving me this sort of access, being this close to the pitch. Pitch side, dugouts just there. It's insane. What a beautiful stadium. And this is where the castle is. Oh my God, it's just got that character about it. It's got that aura as well. Imagine standing here as a coach. The atmosphere, the Ultra section as well. This corner right here. So iconic, the Sparta there, Rotterdam there in the sea. Massive, massive fan of this. It's a really nice stadium, this. The ultra leader then showed me into the tunnel where it shows all their history and also into the changing rooms. So I didn't expect to be in the changing room literally two and a half hours before kickoff. The players have not arrived. Oh my days, I can't believe I'm in the dressing room of the Sparta Rotterdam, man. This is crazy. I've got to say as well, I actually really love their badge. The amount of bad food I've been eating, I really need to get on this. And here is where the player's family would eat, drink and relax before watching the game, which looks to be a great cosy environment. And right now I'm in the ultra section. Obviously it's about two and a half hours. I'm just having a tour around the whole stadium. It's absolutely fantastic. Look at the graffiti back here, the stand. This is where all the action happens. I think my seat is actually in this corner right here. But this is what people don't see as well. The ultra group's actually setting up the flags, the banners, absolutely everything. Look at the drums ready, everything's ready now. This is absolutely insane, you know, to experience all this, wow. And the game hasn't even kicked off yet. But I think you guys can guess what they've actually just asked me. Do I want to go for a beer? Right, let's go. A lot of time has passed, but we're finally inside the stadium. We've had some beers with the Ultras. Absolutely fantastic environment and welcomed me so well. 
Look, we're inside now. It's it's night time. It's it's dark now. But even at night, this place just looks phenomenal. But it's about time we get some food down me. Oh my god, I need it. Right then, I've got a croquette. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. It's just something in a roll. Oh man, that is phenomenal, you know. That is so good. I'm not even gonna lie, I'm gonna get another one. It is honestly that good. Look, I wasn't joking. I'm getting another one, I've got one. Continually unbelievable stranding. I could not have asked for a better experience than what I've had today. It's been incredible. Here are the away fans. I've still got to visit their club. My mission is to tick off every single Eredivisie club in this league. So if I haven't been to your club, message me on Instagram. So apparently in this stand, you can sit anywhere you want. The old is in the corner, but this is our view today. I don't think there's a bad seat in the house, to be honest. So here come the teams then. Oh, hello. Fireworks and all. Look at this. Well, the teams are out. I saw the fireworks. They're all out. Everything's out today. Look at this. Phenomenal. This is nuts, man. Look at this. What is going on? This is insane. Oh, my days. Well, I didn't expect that one, then. Okay. What a club. I am so impressed with this club, man. It, it ticks all the boxes. And here we go, then we're off. What a day. Now let's hope for a good football game. Away day's banner. Looks quite cool, to be fair. I don't even care what the score will be because I've had such a great time. That's a great ball, you know. Puts it in there, saved. Sparta have started really well here. Hold on a minute. Save. That was the first big opportunity I'd say that I've had. We're 20 minutes into the game and the game has been very, very woeful, I can't lie. Like, it hasn't been great whatsoever. I'm just sat here just appreciating the stadium whilst I'm here. It's not every day I'll come to a stadium like this, so I'm appreciating it. They've got a corner here. Uh-oh. Oh my god, it's wide. He was a yard out. I know it was at a tight angle, but he didn't even get that on target and he's missed. I forgot to say as well, the Ultras actually gave me some stickers as well. Literally, there's hundreds. They just gave them out to me and I just can't believe they've done all this for me. The Ultra group of the club. What have we got from this corner? There we go. Oh, It's going to be like the test again when I have all these chances, but I actually can't put anything away. It's like Ellis Platten has just organised an Ultra group and there he is. That's definitely going to be his next video now. Right, dangerous free kick here. Please, something interesting. Oh, oh, it hit the net, but not the right side. I don't know where they got two minutes from, but that's what's added on just before the end of the first half. Puts it in. Oh, spilt it. Oh, I don't know. Pen. It's a pen. There we go. There's some action. Good job. There was two minutes added on. The keeper spilt it, and there he was. He was fouled. Now, this is a big, big chance to go 1 0 up just before the break. Oh, you're taking the piss. He's checking VAR. Well, you all know what happens from here. Unbelievable. Oh, well, that's not enough. Well, never mind then. And that is half time. Booze at the break, but I think that's more for the ref, maybe. Footballing wise, it hasn't been great whatsoever, but as Sparta got it down by shooting this end, I think it could be a better second half. So the referee, right? He just pointed to the spot for a penalty, and now he's pointed for a free kick out of nowhere. Basically going back on the decision as a handball, but I swear if you've blown the whistle, going to that spot, then could he change that? Ah, and now he's given a penalty. So he pointed a penalty, gave a free kick, and now he's changed it. For a penalty. What an absolute man and now he has a chance to make it 1-0 to Sparta Rotterdam. The second half has only just begun, so thankfully we've got a little bit of action. Here we go. Yeah! And there it is. 1-0 to Sparta Rotterdam. Rotterdam. This anthem is really cool, you know. And there is the first goal. and I couldn't get it on camera, but it was a really good finish. I told you, down this end we'll get the goals and that is exactly what we've got. And look at them, everyone's jumping. It's a good fan base here, it's a really good fan base. 
even the family section are getting involved. I'm really enjoying my time here, you know. Red card. Do you know what? I'm not surprised. He absolutely flew into him. Stud showing and everything. Sparta Rotterdam down to 10 men. 23 minutes to go. I think that was a red card. The good start to the second half, but now that red card has just changed things. He was literally the guy who just scored the second goal and he just got himself sent off. Straight red card. My days. Now that I think of it, it's actually really crazy how the floodlight actually looks like it's part of the stadium right now. Even though we all know that all four floodlights look so far away from the stadium from the outside. Absolutely freezing. I do not know how they've got their tops off at all. Four minutes added on here. The game is all but wrapped up, really, if I'm honest. It has been an absolute pleasure being inside this stadium today. I still can't believe the Ultra Group welcomed me in the way they did. It was phenomenal. Could there be a little consolation? It's not a bad ball, you know. Oh my god. It's out for a goal kick, so it must have mean he missed a sitter. And that is full time here. 2 0 to Sparta Rotterdam. What an incredible time here. Yeah, I really enjoyed that. Super. Thank you to the Ultras in the corner for welcoming me so well. The rain is falling, but I had a great time. I will for sure be back in this stadium one day.